Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to easily back up your iPhone to iCloud. Now the process is very simple and the reason why you'd want to do this is if for whatever reason your iPhone gets glitchy or whatever and you need to factory reset it, you can restore from the iCloud backup and you won't lose any of your data. Same applies to if you're upgrading your iPhone, you can restore that iCloud backup on your new iPhone and all of your data, everything is restored to that new device. So with that being said, let's get started. First of all, all you want to do is open up settings and at the top you're going to see your Apple ID. If you don't see this, you will need to sign into your Apple ID, just use your Apple ID and password and then it should get everything set up for you. So we'll just tap here and I'm going to move my phone up because it's going to show my uh, email. And if you're wondering, this email is different from my iCloud. And all we're going to do is we're going to tap on iCloud right here and we're going to scroll down until we see iCloud backup. We're going to tap on this and just turn it on. So for you, it should be set to off by default. And if you want to turn it on, just tap on this. OK, and now your iPhone will be backed up to iCloud. Now, here's the deal. Depending on how much iCloud storage you have, you might not be able to back up your iPhone to the cloud. So I have two terabytes of iCloud storage. Um, if you have the default five gigabytes of iCloud storage, if you have more than five gigs of data, on your iPhone, you will not be able to back up all of your data to iCloud. Therefore, what you want to do is just tap on Manage Storage, and there should be an option to change uh, the storage uh, capacity that you have. So you can see, change storage plan right here. Currently, I have the two terabyte plan. Um, I'd recommend just getting the 200 gigabyte plan. The reason why I've almost used up two terabytes is because I record a lot of YouTube videos and I never delete the old videos. Therefore, I have a lot of junk on my cloud uh, drive. Overall, if I remove those videos, I would probably have only used up about 100 gigabytes of data, 200 gigabytes of data. Therefore, you don't need, really need to get two terabytes unless you're planning on recording a lot of stuff. And um, if you want to back up your device, 200 gigabyte is probably the best option to get. So another thing you can do is if you turn on uh, these options like mail, iCloud photos, what it will do is it will automatically, you don't need to create an iCloud backup, it will back up all this data to iCloud and you don't need to restore an iCloud backup, but when you uh, log into a new phone, you log into the same iCloud account or even on your Mac, all of your mail, contacts, calendars, whatever you select here will automatically download onto your device without needing to restore an iCloud backup and overall um, it's pretty darn cool. So, Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.